So, hopefully everybody feels like they got something done. Uh, this concludes our work time, so uh, just kind of wrap up what you're doing so you can give attention to the folks that are going to be displaying their stuff. Uh, similar to our intros, uh, yesterday we have an HDMI cable up here. Hopefully the switchovers will go more smoothly this time. But um, yeah, just uh, come up. Everybody has a few minutes. Uh, show what you did if there's something to demo. Otherwise, feel free to just say, hi, this is what I worked on. I made it or I didn't. And uh, I think, think that's about it. If you can, help the note takers by just saying your name and your domain. Again, uh, that'll help us with documentation. And I think that's about it. Is there anything else before we get started? Um, if you can do your demo from a shared computer, I would say do that yeah. to avoid switching times. Um, is that computer running Windows 10? It is an OS X box. I, it is, it is Mac OS. Um, and obviously, like if you need logins and stuff, you may not want to use it. Yeah. But if the thing you're demoing does not require your own computer, then uh, it'll be quicker to just use that. Definitely. OK. I'm just going to be speaking so I can go in between two people uh, who are using the machines. Great. Um, well, with that, let's do the same thing we did earlier. So we'll have one person up, one person on deck. Uh, and who would like to go first? I see a Gregor. Thank you, Gregor. Well, Gregor appears. I will just say that. <laughs> All right, so I worked on, um, I guess uh, one of the first things I did, I forgot about, I fixed emoji support on my posts. So Marty's, um, now it's gonna not load slowly, of course. Where's my mouse? So I got a little wave emoji there, and I also got a scepter or whatever that is from Eddie. <laughs> so I fixed that. Um, then I worked on offline posting. I'm showing the mobile view here because using it on my phone was the, the case that I came up with. Um, I set up a service worker, so this page uh, caches offline. It's basically just an HTML file and a JavaScript file. Um, and then I can type in a note. And if I, this works. Um, down here at the bottom, this is the browser's local storage, so it just saved this note in local storage, and it shows it up there. Um, eventually, of course, that'll be a nice like edit link, so I can go back and edit those. Um, and just real quick test, see if this actually works offline. Yay! That's my demo. Nice. Uh, Gregor, GregorLove.com. If I didn't say that earlier. Hello, my name is Josh Duran. My personal domain is jduran.org. And today I was working on implementing a web mention sender uh, in my programming language, which is called V, which is at vcode.org. And so I, uh, I got part of the way there. Um, I used some HTML parsing code that I wrote on the way home from Indie Web Summit. And I got that to, um, I. My, the program I wrote uh, shelled out to curl to actually fetch the data. And so it fetched it, uh, parsed the HTML, uh, produced a structure, a hierarchical structure, and then navigated that and found the H entry and the U in reply to and pulled out the URL of the uh, target page. And then it fetched that and parsed it and found the uh, link rel equals web mention and got the path, the URL path of the web mention endpoint, and that was where I ran out of time. So that's it. Awesome. We need somebody on deck. Is there an adapter for USB-C? 
Does someone have a USB-C to HDMI? Awesome. All right. So I worked on um, my my little fork of Audiogram, which I use to take uh, audio files and uh, text transcripts and generate uh, little preview videos that can be shared on social media. So previously, I had a really hacked up system where I, if I wanted to get a transcript, I would use an external program, make the transcript, munge the files by hand, and then uh, feed that munged file into the system uh, in the right JSON format. Uh, now I can upload the MP3 and uh, copy the text that I that that like is what's in that mp3 I can paste it in and hit generate transcript and it will it, it now does automatically the steps that I used to do by hand so what it's doing is talking to another little service that's running on my machine which um, takes those same two pieces of input the audio file and the transcript and crunches until it generates um, something pretty pretty neat so like uh, it's an audio player that links like moment to moment even down to the syllable that's being said uh, all of the the little words with their timing and yeah there it is it's done and so this this transcript editor now lets me like format it and add punctuation assign different speakers uh, and uh, and then back to what the audiogram generator already does is it then takes that transcript and puts it into the video that stuff was already working great so uh, I have also put this fork up on GitHub, and I'll be posting about that. And hopefully, no one will download it and use it because it's still pretty difficult to get set up, and I'm <laughs> not ready to run support for that. Uh, but that's me. Oh, sorry. I'm Marty McGuire. My website is Marty McGuire with a dot before the re. And who's who's up next? I just threw the cable to the ground. You want to go? Yeah, good. Good, good, good. Cool, and it's mirroring. Uh, hi, so I wanted to, my name is Adam, uh, adambachman.org. I wanted to take the MicroPub demonstration app that Aaron walked through during one of the sessions yesterday and build it in this site called glitch.com, which is kind of like CodePen, uh, if you're familiar with that, except it's for servers. So you can write a simple server in Node.js. This is using the Express web framework uh, and implements MicroPub. So kind of boils down to the MicroPub uh, post request handler. There's a verify function that does the discussion with the token server to make sure the token it has received. I had to write out this comment because I wanted to understand why I could trust the token I received and why I could trust the token handler when it said the token was okay so that I could take this random chunk of text and stick it in my database. Uh, so the content of the page has the simple authorization endpoint, token endpoint, and micropub uh, rel tags and works with Quill. So I post here and uh, it did report a location header but it was lowercase so it did a gen it like it did a legit oh, post it's a 200 instead of a 201 oh it needs to be a 201 yeah. oh that's funny well uh i can actually let me live demo what <laughs> uh db insert good send status 201 that's funny uh, cool so the cool thing is this glitch app anybody can go get it take their own copy change nice. the uh, URLs in the uh, layout and point it at their own demo site so that was my part one thing uh, we should see it I post here that's that post nice. at the top there is the micropub I just did from quill so the second thing I wanted to do was take that off of Glitch, because you can get a download, a tar zip 
file of a whole Node.js project, push it up to my personal server, and host it. So the second half of the day I spent setting up a domain name, the Let's Encrypt SSL cert, and the app uh, running against this br oh god what did I do oh wait no that's because it's an old post cool yeah uh, found a Chrome extension that does micropub from inside Chrome so I post here now uh, this is called Omni Bear I post here now and it shows up on my personal website Ooh. and uh, with the proper H entry stuff so excited next steps just I uh, want to do bookmarks and favorites and start to do the web mentions stuff but that's that's later yeah hacks or ipsum cool I've had a lot of fun I want to say thanks Aaron Marty for putting this together this is a uh, cool stuff glad I finally got around to gluing it all together awesome all right who's up next let's get two people so we can have somebody on deck don't be afraid. Don't be shy. We're going to clap for you no matter what. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll do a clap no matter what. I'll go. Yay. I'll clap for going. <laughs> No, I think it was the right. Oh, okay. There, it is. there, there we go. go. Cool. What window is that? Not my window. Let's do this window. Oops, this way. All right. <coughs> so, my name is Russell Heimlich. Like the maneuver. Um, in the last 15 <laughs> minutes, I added some microformats to my daughter's websites there. So, wow. this is them parsed out. Welcome feedback on the markup. I just kind of kind of rushed it in and put it in there. Um, so that was one thing I did. Um, the bigger thing I spent all day doing was cleaning up and prettifying the location meta box for the simple location WordPress plugin. Um, so you can see there's before and there's after. Um, so I can actually show you. So here's what it looks like when you're actually using it. So this is my test site that I need to do like that. So that it'll work. Yes. All right. So if I do this, it'll ask for my location. It will. You don't know if it works or not, but it does actually work. Um, so then you can show details. There's all these other details. So this is how the plugin was originally before I started. Um, so if I go here, deactivate this one, this is an excellent demo of WordPress development, by the way. That's only because I'm in an, Always in, test your stuff. I'm in an incognito window, which makes it fun. All right. So an it's fine. Uh, it's fine in this window. <laughs> Uh, so I can deactivate this one, I can activate this one, I can go here, good, this still works. So this is the new version of it. So I replaced some of the icon looking things with buttons. Um, when you say, use my current location, there's a loading screen, so you know that it's actually kind of doing something. Um, when you show the detail, there's the forms are just kind of laid out a little nicer, I guess. Um, and you can get the weather and then when you clear the location it actually asks you if you want to clear it instead of just deleting everything so um, so the pull request is up for that here and you can see all the changes to it and such so nice. that's pretty much what I did all day My name is Matt Burley. I don't have a personal domain, so I'm essentially indie web invisible. Um, and I really can't demo because my little gizmo is not going to talk to a Mac very well. So, uh, 
I was sitting in a session yesterday and uh, with with Arthur, and we were talking about microformats. And there's a lot of different microformats. Um, they're used. Some of them have very specific use cases. And I noticed he was using Visual Studio Code, which is my favorite editor. So I spent the day working on a Visual Studio Code extension to give you microformat snippets. So as you're typing, you just type H dash. It'll show you everything. H dash E N. You know, so entry. Uh, hit it, you get a little snippet with all the, all the bits populated. There's placeholders so you can step through. The kind of ran into some, some thought issues with the fact that none of the uh, fields are really required. So I just kind of picked the, picked the samples out of the documentation is that I'll implement those. Um, and I think really the, the neat trick would be maybe as a next step to um, hook that up and, and build those mechanically scrape the wiki and just say you know just construct the templates on the fly and stuff like that but so right now it's just on my on my uh local but i'll get it pushed up to github and, and if it looks worth the shit i may even put it in the visual studio marketplace so yeah. that's that nice yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Arthur, uh, ArthurPaken.com, and I have a kind of static admin uh, panel that I built where you have a list of files, and currently this is my like note-taking app, but it, it, the, my uh, blog editing app looks the same. Um, and uh, today I spent adding this little bar here. It's kind of GitHub style uh, drag and drop to upload or press to select files. And um, if I will uh, manage to find my cursor, I can demo something. Uh, yeah, so you can, of course, like drag and drop files like this. And it will actually um, add a markdown. Since it's an image, it's going to add a markdown tag. You can, uh, and it's doing a local, um, local relative path here. Uh, this, for some reason, came up in the Giphy storage for indie web. I don't know why. <laughs> um, <laughs> But you can also press to select files. And this is actually using uh, API, file uploader that I'm working on. And it, it supports uh, like uploading files from Instagram and Google Drive, and you can write your own plugins. Uh, but for the demo, there's a webcam plugin. So if that will work. Um, OK, <laughs> uh, there you go. Nice. Thanks. What was the name of your uploader? Uh, api. Api.io. Api. U P P Y. Like api. a puppy, but not. screen actually come up. No, we're back to that again, aren't we? Uh, don't forget to hit three on the box if you haven't had it. It's just in. Yeah, it was because I was there. Yeah. No, no? No video? Did this work yesterday? Yeah. It just yeah, it's flickered. Cable. For, uh, this one? I don't know which one. But well, that's pretty secure. It's a new cable. First time I've used it. It was working yesterday. Hmm. Sorry. I hate to be the one holding up the line. Did it switch back? To yeah, I think it may have. I think every time. That seems to be the problem. It just switches back. Yeah, that's true. So when it loses the signal, it switches. Yeah. yeah. But it makes it hard when you're waiting for the thing to yeah. realize there is a signal. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wasn't there somebody who was going to do something while? Yeah, we just go. Yeah, uh, that works. Uh, sorry about that. Go oh, wrong way. Mm. 
Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. Actually, that might have been the output. No, that was, yeah, that's correct. That's what I wanted. It's blinking. Oh, yeah. What is it? Why is it blinking? It's blinking. I don't know. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, there I had it for a sec. I had it for a second? Yeah. So, there you go. There. There. there we go. Okay, well, we'll, we'll move up here. So, um, when I started the day, I had a token endpoint, and I thought it would just take a few minutes to have Aaron uh, check the token endpoint and confirm that it was working the way it was supposed to. A few minutes turned into how, how many hours have we been here now? <laughs> uh, so, the token endpoint uh, do doesn't do anything flashy, uh, but it is configured. So, if I try to sign into my test site using Quill, My test site has its own Twitter account. If you really want to be bored with test, test, test posts. <laughs> so uh, Quill is nice enough to have some settings here. So the, where is the token endpoint? I thought it was there. I have the micropub endpoint. OK. I thought it did. OK. Either way, um, it is using the token endpoint that I was just working on. So I don't know anything more interesting I should do. I'll put in a location. Why not? That was working five minutes ago. So back to the drawing board again. <laughs> but always the demo part. But the other part of it is I did update the login portion of it, which was working about five seconds ago. So I break, fix one part of it, and I break the other part. And I have a long train ride back to New York. I'll, it'll, it'll, this just worked five seconds ago. I didn't touch anything. I don't know what it was. On the right URL? It is the right URL. But either way, now I'm annoyed. Back to the drawing board. Work. Stop. I saw it work at one point. Yes, I, I have a witness. Yeah, it's yeah. Not working. It was working. <laughs> I don't know what happened in the last two minutes, but it was working. So I'm going to embarrass myself and slink back over to the desk. <laughs> it's shall work. I will triumph eventually. Next, uh, well, in, uh, there. Yeah, and can we get somebody else on deck too, please? <coughs> All right. Uh, I I had some various things in my list, and I did most of the first one. Oh, yeah, so uh, I, Mac, I Mac did. Com I'm, this is Mac Griffin. Yes, I uh, successfully completed the cage match for domains and killed 16 of them, um, wow. which feels good slash scary. Anyway. That, it shouldn't uh, matter because those were not uh, a lively bunch of domains. Um, and I installed Hugo and mocked up a site to put on one of them, uh, the remaining surviving pieces, and, uh, and playing around with themes. So I sort of did the first thing I was looking to do and uh, bugged people about some of the stuff related to um, transcription and audio mashup, but I think people like Marty were already doing some work in these areas, so I'll just keep waiting for them <laughs> to share more stuff. amyhurst.com. I have a website that's running on GitHub Pages that is very modest. Um, I achieved getting um, indie web, sorry, indie off working, which was great. And I was able to log into the indie web camp wiki and add my favorite sushi restaurant because it was missing from the wiki, which was driving me nuts. Um, and then I spent the rest of the day working on a um, thing that I didn't even put on the um, board, which is hooking up. Um, 
I write a lot of publications for my job and they end up kind of in the silo, but they have a way to be able to link and um, download free versions, but you have to host on your site and it's a very clunky, difficult system, but I got a lot of it working. So now I have links to many of my papers on my website. So amyhurst.com. Who's next? Yay. Um, uh, I don't have to uh, uh, Somebody go directly into that. Sure, I can take a look at it. All right, so Jonathan Prosy, jonathanprosy.net. Um, one thing that I really wanted to work on from our conversation yesterday was um, brand, putting together our notes from beginner friendly sessions, like a session pathway. So I did two things. First, I started writing all of that uh, coming from our Etherpad discussion and uh, writing it in Markdown. And then I got really irritated from having to constantly look in my preview. So I ran a, I created a little Hugo thing to have a live preview of the notes because um, I got that idea from Marty and been wanting to do it for a while. But I um, started giving a little structure to it, like some of the things that we had talked about. Uh, if somebody comes in and wants to start a WordPress site, I just started brainstorming a little bit about like objectives and goals, um, started filling this in a little bit, like things that would be involved in that. So setting up a domain path um, activity, stumbling blocks going from there. So this was a lot of that pulling from our notes. And then the other actual thing I wanted to get done was an activity that Marty and I could run on Tuesday for Homebrew Website Club. So the first one that we did was come up with uh, setting up a domain as an activity. So putting in our Homebrew Website Club uh, posts about if you come to this, work from 6.30 to 7.30, you will leave with a registered domain and an understanding of the information in that dashboard and all of that. And just kind of structuring it a little bit of like a facilitator guide so after we refine it, um, can share it and put it on the wiki uh, in like a slideshow format. So it's a little bit more refining, but I also did get the live notes thing going on Hugo, which made this a lot easier to write. So. That is all, but we will uh, hopefully have some updates after we run this on Tuesday as an activity. Okay, next up. I actually don't have HDMI, it's a USB-C, but I have a USB. Oh. I have a USB-C thingo. You do? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. This is, yeah, it's a, this is actually a USB to USB-C. Oh, got okay. it. Sorry, I should pull it down. Yes. And three. Oh, forgot how to do the display. Oh, I did get it right. Oopsie. It just took a while. Okay, and oops. why is it not working? I have it on multiple desktops, but it's not coming up. It's like because I have a thousand drawers. Coming out. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um. I actually. My name is Lydia Tasbu. I don't have a website, but um. I decided to try to build one for my old, uh, younger sister, who does some. Uh, she does pop-up dinners in South Carolina, and I started some of the CSS stuff a while ago, so I kind of cheated and used some of it, but I was just cleaning it up and setting it up so this is like if you this is would be the logo and then if you go to upcoming page you have this and then I have if you hover over to changes and then pass event and then I have links in here Whoop. then contact and then press because they weren't amused so that's pretty much it and <laughs> it took a while just cleaning up 
I haven't done that much web design and just even working with CSS is a pain, but I got some of it to work. Yes. Yeah. That's it. So my goal was to um, just add some little animations to my website, and I did that. But I was trying to figure out different ways to um, to trigger the animations. Um, I couldn't really get it working. Uh, I have some JavaScript issues. Um, let me find what's, what's the window. And so <laughs> this is pretty much it. Thanks. That's it. And um, I'm still working on um, getting a frame onto the microcontroller, which is like my ambitious project. So um, if you can see this, this little string right here that says HTML, um, I'm just going to copy like um, pretty much HTML code right, in, right into here. And then like when you go to the IP address that the, the microcontroller is broadcasting, you'll go to the A-frame world. And that's pretty much it. Nice. Thank you. Hi, I'm Aaron, AaronPK.com. Um, I spent a lot of time th today helping uh, David review the WordPress code for the token endpoint, which I'm pretty happy about our progress on that. Uh, it does work, I swear. <laughs> and, um, uh, but yeah, so that was a lot of good progress there. And I also like installed a test WordPress on my laptop and got a bunch of stuff working um, to try to help troubleshoot that. And, um, Um, the other th <laughs> thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the other project I did today, which um, I am really excited about, a little weird thing, is this new little grid of green and blue squares on my homepage, and um, as you can see, it <laughs> it changes in uh, as people are clicking around. So if you go to my homepage right now, you can play along. Uh, and help change the pattern. Um, I chose that size of grid to hopefully prevent people from um, yeah. spelling too many bad things because it's really hard to make letters that are three pixels tall. Or drawings. Or drawings. Um, there are a few things you can do, as you saw when it was first up. Somebody figured out that B and U and T can all be represented in three pixels. Um, <laughs> So that's cool, but uh, anyway, it's kind of fun. It's a uh, weird, weird little thing. I used to have it on my website a long time ago, uh, but it was like a seven by seven grid, How and I, uh, I kind of missed that. Um, no, so it's, um, as soon as you click it, it updates locally, and then it sends off uh, to the server, so the server records it, and then there's a, um, I don't like having to run additional services if I can help it, so there's a Nginx module that is like a pub sub multiplexer thingy. So the browser uh, uses the event source API from in the browser, which is just like built in now. Um, and that's subscribing to, it ends at Nginx. Like I didn't have to write any server code for it. I just talk to Nginx, there's a channel there. And then in my backend code, which is PHP, which is not very good for like real time and streaming stuff. Um, in PHP, I can just send a post request to another internal URL. And Nginx deals with pushing it out to all the li listeners. So it's like awesome. They don't have to worry about running a little service for that. It just is built into the web server. Um, and um, yeah, it took me like, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes. So I was pretty happy with that. And I got to spend the rest of the time on the token 
token stuff, which is super invisible work. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens with this. People are going to try to write stuff, <laughs> of course. Uh, hopefully not super terrible things. Should probably just close this now it's before <laughs> before this gets <laughs> bad. It's extremely satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. Anybody hasn't gone? Is that everybody? I think I think that's everybody. Okay. We're four minutes early. Um, that's it. We did it. We had an indie web camp. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming. Uh, as always, like indie indie web community never stops. So uh, if you're ever curious what's going on, or you want to work on your site, or you need inspiration, or you um, are stuck on something, uh, indieweb.org. The wiki has everything. Uh, every, and everything ends up there eventually. But um, also, um, sorry? Yeah, I was going to say, uh, the, the chat is um, where it's at. Uh, and we, uh, we talk about not only stuff that we're doing related to our sites and the indie web in general, but also um, you know, just what's going on in the world. It's a lovely group of people that uh, support each other. And uh, we invite you to hang out there even when you're not working on your website. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we have these events uh, all over the U.S. and in Europe as well. Uh, you can find those at indieweb.org slash events. Um, Baltimore also has a twice monthly, or I guess it's technically bi-weekly uh, meetup. We usually meet on Tuesdays, and our next meeting will be here this Tuesday, the 23rd. Uh, and we'll be going through uh, Jonathan's activity for setting up a domain. Uh, if you don't have one yet and want one, although you came to Indie Web Camp, so you probably have it if you want it. And um, but you know, uh, if you're local, let your friends know. Uh, we'd love to see new faces, and we'd love to help them get going and get uh, new people started. Uh, if you're not local, thank you so much for coming and coming all this way. Uh, but even if you are local, thank you for coming out. Uh, so give yourselves a hand. You had a good event. You did it. And I think I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else to say. Thank you. So, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you, Marty. And oh yeah, thanks. Thanks. I uh, will do the thanks. Thank you to DHF for hosting us. Thank you, Jonathan, for keeping the space going for us. Thank you, Aaron, for bringing all of this amazing streaming stuff. I'm very excited about the videos, uh, but also for coming all the way and bringing your expertise, uh, Gregor and David as well for coming down. And um, thanks to the IndieWeb for being a thing. Uh, that's it. So thanks everybody get home safe. Course. Nah. Like putting this all together. You're welcome. Uh, so yeah, I, there's no official anything planned, but feel free to grab dinner. Uh, we'll be packing up and cleaning up, and um, take. take a final group photo? Yes. Uh, yeah. Let's do a final group photo, and uh, yeah, please take food. Uh, stuff it in your pockets if you have to, because <laughs> otherwise it'll get thrown away. Or sneak it into some yep. Group photo in. Where? Yeah. Where should we do it?